to another My Little Podcast. We are your hosts. I'm here with my brother, Bryson. Hello. My father, Gary. Hello. And my mother, Shelly. Hi. Today, <laughs> we're going to be talking about your comments and questions from the most recent Weekly Peak episode that we had, which featured... Uh, let's see. What did it feature? I really run into that, and then I have to think. Every time. Every van time. conversion? Yeah, we had the van conversion. And then what was the big one? Oh, the tub. Yeah. We had the Get, tub. And started we also, the walls. Yeah, and then Bailey. We also had a little oh, uh, cameo yes. with Bailey oh, and Perry, right. which is mm-hmm. always a fun to yeah. do. Yeah. Um, okay, so Windswept, Windswept Farm is going to Windswept. start Windswept. us Windswept. off Windswept. today. Windswept. Windswept. Farm. Which actually isn't hard to say. It's just when I say it. So, <laughs> very cute name. Uh, how do you handle drainage in your shower? Is the question. Um, goes through a little. We actually, goes well, how are we going to do it? It just then? falls on the ground. And, and, like, and it like flows off to the side. Yeah. Like, it falls on the, like a cement pad that we had set it up set up in there. Yeah. And then we have a bunch of like rocks and stuff underneath that. Yeah. So it kind of just falls on the cement slab and kind of flows off the rocks off to the side. And it just out into plants. like a little like basin that's right There's outside some bamboo, the shower. Yeah, bamboo. Isn't and it? Some other but that, we're going to be changing that though. But yes, yeah, we're going to be It changing. does right now. All the bamboo grows up there. In yeah. S- it is gray water. You know? And also, too, it's so hot here, it almost evaporates before it hits the ground. So <laughs> it just dawned on me when we put in the shower plug and stuff, we should have a, um, not a plug, but like when we put the shower drain in. We should have a plug that we can slip on and off the top of that because I'm just thinking like it, that could get clogged so easily because we have so many leaves that fall down. If we had a normal we, drain, we we'd be constantly same, cleaning that off. The, the drain trap, you know, like they do for hair in normal showers. But you just pull oh, out the little dump trap, and then, the little trappy thing, make a little yeah, trap of some kind. Kind. So, Or maybe like you're right, the drain we do have you a lot use of for like your, um, your sink drain mm-hmm. or something just to keep leaves from. Or we could put a little, what do you have on in that, um, <laughs> when you have the dishes in the, in the, the normal grinder. people have that little grinder at the bottom of it. Mold sculpture juice out the other end, you know. <laughs> 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 Every when you have Perfect. It Love it. You drop your razor down there. <laughs> 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 as so bad man. as a spoon going in there. <laughs> okay, so uh, <laughs> the spoon yeah. in the garbage disposal. Nobody's ever done that. Never. No, no, it's never happened. Or um, rag or anything else. About. Ooh, <laughs> rag. Yeah, I've know. never seen a rag. In the, like fashion. the sponges, rags, and stuff. Oh yeah, yeah. they, they yeah. fall down there. Mm. Yeah, be careful. I can imagine that could be shredding. <laughs> crazy. I've done that once. <laughs> well, that's why you mentioned it because you yeah. first. And I didn't crazy. know what was wrong. I was just running the grinder, and I was like, "What's going on? What is that on? weird." It sounds spongy, like. And Grandma was like, "Crap!" <laughs> <laughs> Garbage disposal, right? Why I was running? Fun. I may add, that was scary. Yeah. Well, we don't talk about that. Her hands no, good. It's, it's safe, fine. It's <laughs> fine. Everybody's, everybody's there was a sponge in there. So okay, we got. It. Okay, we thank got you. It. Oh, oh my gosh. Okay. So a Beringo PR says. Azalea's like, hey, I'm ready to help. Just give me a tool. I'll show you a thing or two. Now, where's my bottle? It's break time. It's <laughs> <laughs> cute. Um, let's see. I'm going to try it. Okay, so uh, we actually get this question quite often, actually. Mm. So I figured it's about time that we addressed it. Are you ready for this? I don't know. Okay. So Katrina Vantasol says, every week I wonder, why does G&E have yellow and orange in their driveway? I'm just curious. And that gr- and that yellow and orange actually comes from when they were doing their aquaponics system when they purchased those vats or those whatever you call totes. them the totes. Oh, they had they sometimes put dye yellow. And they stuff had yellow them. and orange uh, concrete dye, I believe, in, inside it as a it pigment. It was biodegradable. <laughs> yeah, so eventually it will. Eventually go away. it will disappear, but for now. They have that nice little orange and yellow streak going on. Mm-hmm. So I haven't even noticed it. I'll have to look for it. Yeah, it's, it's, <laughs> it's kind of funny. It's it's back by the uh, pool or by the. He um, was cleaning the pump tubs house. out with yeah, the pressure I washer, that. I think, or yep. something like that. And so that's just what happened. Mm-hmm. It's very colorful and fun. I I like it. You know, yeah. it's about time we had some fun I colors going it. on. I need to look. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay, so Will Gar- uh, Garmer says, will you be putting, or asks, uh, will you be putting a roof over the tub? <clears throat> no, I don't believe we will, because one of the things that we like about uh, showering outside, and I imagine the tub will be the same way, is we love to be able to look up at the sky or the stars if it's at night, because we do shower at night, too. We have solar lights out there. And so I suppose, um, I don't think we will do that, because that, 
that'll take away from something that we really love about that showering outside. Yeah, we're going to have a cover yeah. over it. Like you would a pool cover or a hot yeah, tub cover. Yeah, over the tub mm-hmm. itself. We'll have some mm-hmm. Yeah, we talked about that last week too, what we want to do to cover that. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. You know, we might want to think about, you know, the solar setup that I have for that little pump that's out there? Mm-hmm. We can do something very similar for that, for lights that we can click on. Ooh, I and like they're that. they're just, they're, they're, they're DC lights. They run off a battery and we, we click them on. We turn them on and off. And then it's just always out there on a solar panel. So we always have it and it's a 12 volt Let's battery or whatever. And it's just kind of in there with everything else. We can click them, yep. click them on and off. Let's do that. It's a really good put idea. LED strips around all kinds of different things. That would be really nice because I, I know I took I took one I took a shower last night outdoor shower that was in the dark and we have those lights that are out there mm-hmm. but they're not quite enough. Now I'm blind as a bat, so when I have my glasses yeah. on. Well, so we it didn't took matter, a few but... of them down too when oh, we took those. I felt like so it was there wasn't a lot, lighter. so we could it's put some lighter. of those back up. But you're right, the solar ones aren't really as bright as what Bryson's talking about. Mm-hmm. If we did the LEDs, we'd really get some good lighting. Yeah. That'd uh, be if we picked if we picked certain colors like a red or something, then it wouldn't attract bugs. So I don't we did, think if we I want to shower all... in red though. No, no. But you could do other, brown, and then you'd never colors. feel like you were clean. Roxanne. <laughs> <laughs> I was just thinking like I'm thinking about all the bugs that might come. Well, if you got LEDs everywhere, it don't matter. Make yeah, you hurry so. up. Save on water. Yeah, it's fine. It would, yeah, yeah. <laughs> It'll all work out. It would okay, be fine I mean, if there's a lot of lights, too. Yeah. It's not, not like they're attracted to one. It would be everywhere. So, Okay, so um, I believe that this is in reference to Bullet. Oh, no. Jade Michelle says, hey, since you're busy, do you mind throwing my toy? <laughs> <laughs> he is like that. He's always like that, he's isn't so he? He is. Oh, he's so funny. Yeah, uh, you know, trying to do laundry... Uh, with oh. bullet is <laughs> is just absolutely ridiculous. It's a nightmare. It's not it's too great. bad, you know. It, I mean, it wouldn't be too bad, except that his tur- toy is usually really dirty, yeah. Very and dirty he puts and it in the laundry bucket with your clothes. Yeah. You know, even when clean they're clean or dirty, or when doesn't matter. And it's like, no, bullet, no, and you have to you have to get it really quick, or yeah, yeah. And mm-hmm. then he's like, yeah. And then he gets all excited. So I, I usually take the toy out and hand it back to him and said, you dropped this. But then he doesn't like that very no. much. So that's, that's not very, it's not exactly no, it's Well, like the that. thing is, you can take the toy and put it up. That's but cool. But then he finds another one. That, that doesn't Or a stick. Yeah. Or, you know, something. piece of grass. He'll I don't know. Whatever something. he can he find. very creative very fast. Yeah. And he watches you and he finds out exactly where you're going. In fact, he knows when I walk outside, if he has a toy, he'll know what building I'm going to, and he'll go in front of my path that I normally walk, and he'll drop his toy, mm-hmm. knowing you're going to walk right there, yeah. and he'll wait for you to come and get it. Mm-hmm. Like, he knows. He knows where you go. He's a mm-hmm. he's a he's definitely a power player when it job. comes to all that. He, he's very diligent. Talk, and there's toss. only very one diligent. thing that I have found that detours him, and it only does for a short time, is I call... Luna over and I give Luna the toy because he won't mess with Luna but Luna gets bored easy so it doesn't yeah. last very long Luna's but it like, does help a little bit yeah which I buys mean, you a little time we're not we're not being mean a bullet is a full-time job when oh, it yeah. comes to full-time. you will That's never wear that dog Fetch. out so uh Shelly Welsh um asks what breed and how old is the pig oh and um I'm trying to think I know he is mixed with a Juliana pig He's a mix, though, and I think the other one was like a pot belly or something that's not supposed to be very small. But what makes oh, him yeah. so tiny is I was very careful, and I still do. I feed him many pig food. Mm-hmm. I'm very specific about that. And But then um, he was also the runt of the litter, so I think he's small upon small. So he just got, he's just pretty, he's, I mean, he's And he's small. a couple years old, you think, going on he's two? He's about three, I'd say, three? actually. Oh. Yeah, oh, wow. Yeah, I think, yeah, he's, I think he's about three. When they, they say that a pig grows until they're five, I don't oh. know if that's true or not, but then I've been, like, I'll give him, I don't think you're supposed to feed him fruit or anything with sugar, because that's what really gets him bigger, mm. but um, we've been feeding him watermelon rinds, and he just adores those. Oh my gosh. So I'll, I'll be feeding, introducing lots more food into his diet as he gets older. I think we'll be yeah, okay. Yeah, I, I honestly don't think a pig <clears throat> can stop growing. I think well, they just continually... Well, I mean, continually... they do get the big, but I think that there's a... Tallness factor. I thought, I was told that five, they stop okay. growing. I'm sure that they always can get big and, you know, this, their weight can go up and down, but I think... I don't know. I could be wrong. Like a fish? He is getting little tusks, though. Oh really? Mm. Yeah, they're kind of cool. You like? They're cool. Yeah, they're awesome. Should we have them inlaid with gold? <laughs> with gold, have gold tusks. <laughs> gold tusks. <laughs> okay, let's see here. We can put bows around them. 
Well, while we're on the animal <laughs> subject, <laughs> Nin Allen uh, says, as uh, always, lovely to watch. Great to see how Bailey is now. Question, though, why is there a yellow piece of fabric around her paw? Mm. Do you remember? Yes, I do. Um, <laughs> Perry thought that she's very uh, uh, feminine and she likes a little decoration on her foot. She likes it, so he puts it on there for her. I, she I doesn't think he was move even, it. So no, he might yeah, be right. She she I it think off. he was even saying that when he takes it off, she like doesn't like it. She yeah. likes having that on, like she's it's like, like a used to it. Yeah. yeah, she's got a. She has to show how feminine she is. It's <laughs> just important. Um, let's see here. Okay, so. I thought that this might be kind of interesting here. Um, Sunny Cusado says, how much does the temperature differ in the below ground earth bag building, such as the upstairs versus the downstairs in the Muse Art Studio? Uh, please give an examples for summer and winter. If we didn't have computers running down there, mm -hmm. it would be a significant amount. Like, just like you enter a cave. I don't know if ever, <laughs> it's just like yeah. that, where just you get cold, like it's a colder feeling. Even when summer comes, it's still the same or in winter, too. Yeah, and even, yeah, I do even think through winter it stays pretty good, too. And that's the benefit of having those down there is it does heat it up and very it rarely. It seems to be you just mean. a solid temperature. Yeah, and you can, we can put on, we have a little heater down there that heats it real nice. Yeah, it's just um, a tiny one mm -hmm. and it works really well. Yeah, but we have found with the computers down there, it <laughs> significantly Hot. heats the place up. So that's why we're looking into cooling. Uh, stuff uh, cooling it down. We don't normally have to put coolers in there or anything. Like ninety nine percent of the time, like in my room, I can stick a fan up to the window and open up another opposite window at night, cool it off at night, shut my windows in the morning, and it will stay cool all day. Yeah, it, it was will. like eighty eight degrees to, last yeah. night when we went to bed at ten. Yeah, that's true. So it was really hot. Yeah. It was is super your, hot. Yeah. Is your uh, back <clears throat> part of your room is that in the ground too a little bit? It's in the remember. ground by like a foot, I think. Oh, it's a foot in the ground. Half a feet. Like foot, this room like here is about three foot in the ground, and it's it's, it's really nice. nice. Yeah. yeah, the ones yeah. that are sunk do really good at maintaining. And I noticed that it like, it has about a twelve hour re retain. So whatever you put in, it retains for about twelve hours. So like, if I run say my cooler all night, it'll stay cool throughout the day. Um, I don't know if it's like cool enough that you'd go, you know, work out, you know, do some yeah. squats in there. You would get, you know, a little hot, but it does retain and keep it. It keeps the temperature you. Yeah, you temperatures. Put into it for a yeah, while. heat and heat and coolness are stored in the walls. Yeah, and then uh, it's released. It's like a twelve-hour delay. Yep. You know? Yeah. There is no R factor in, which probably now with earth bags, it's but it is a passive system it yeah. stores 12 hours basically yeah, in fact like even now like when it finally got hot in there it was at least a good little bit ago after after it got all cool because it could be because like if it gets really hot that day the next day your room's really hot and it could be freezing outside but your room's going to be hot just because it was hot the next next the day previous day, previous yeah. day yeah. which is good because usually when it swings the temperature swings if you're on the other side of the swing you're always in the happy happy medium happy place. <laughs> you know yeah, yeah but for whatever reason sometimes when it gets really 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 hot and it stays that hot for a long time then you kind of yeah. get hit we got our first monsoon last night it was super oh, exciting did. and wow. boy did it come down in buckets it was amazing it's just yeah it was flooding we had water flowing everywhere yeah. mom and Home. i were driving well mom was driving <laughs> do you have time. to use the four-wheel drive i was gonna ask uh, you yeah i did that. use four-wheel drive down the dirt road yeah. but um, but yeah, I'm, I'm driving on the road and, and it was going so bad. There were people pulling off and trying to get out of the way. And <laughs> she always goes, should I pull off? No, no, no. Put, put your blinkers on. Let's go. So I'm yeah. Like, but I can't see. It was That's okay. <laughs> Nobody else can either. Just <laughs> follow the other blinking lights. <laughs> so yeah. we went uh, probably 20 to 30 miles an hour. Yeah, it wasn't very fast. But nobody so else was water. going fast. Either. You just couldn't see that far ahead of you. I think we got behind like a that. big truck, and then they have better vision than we do higher up, so we kind of relied on his but ability I, I to learned, stop. I actually learned something about that, too. You know how you can hydroplane on the water? Mm -hmm. Well, they, well um, my Uncle Perry, a trucker, a trucker he, he's a trucker, so he has. I guess he catches, up, catches information like this. <laughs> but what happens with the roads, if it's been raining a long time, the roads actually aren't too slick i mean they're still slick but they're not that mm -hmm. bad it's when it doesn't rain for a long time mm -hmm. and then it rains the road has like oils and stuff on it and it makes it like really slick yeah so that's it's always why the first rain that's yeah, it's, the most it's dangerous the, yeah. it's like and i didn't know that i always thought whenever it rained it was bad all the time yeah. and i think you should probably treat it as such but 
it's just interesting that there is actually a slight difference. Mm -hmm. Yeah, interesting to hear well, the back part. Yeah, and we got all the rain barrels filled to the brim, so that's <laughs> always good. Yeah. It was so fun. It was like uh, I remembered when, when we were young when there would be such a big storm like that. We have a lot of puddles that get filled. In fact, in different areas, you'll have enough caliche that that puddle will stay for weeks after a big gushing storm. And I remember after we'd have those those pouring down rains, even during, we'd go out, we we you know blow up the. Uh, what are the little boat the little blow up boat oh, we'd yeah. go you know or we'd uh, go mud play in the mud and it was always just super fun it mm -hmm. was like oh man when it rained it was just party time it was so much fun yeah <laughs> we even had a uh, one time we had <clears throat> so much rain that the road and i think i think that it was like some sort of pond or something that was up kind of yeah, up there that kind of burst and burst. broke yeah. and all that water was just flooding down the road and it was like a it was like a foot deep, you know good half foot to a half a foot deep and it was just flowing and and you could um we had our knee board at the time and we tied it to a post to our fence post and we just knee boarded and and like uh, knee boarded and wake boarded on the water yeah. it was a lot of fun because it was just flowing down the road yeah. We wouldn't recommend that at no. home, but we no. had a lot of fun. No, it was <laughs> a lot of fun. It's funny. We haven't had a rain like that in a really yes. long time, so it was yeah. nice to get a good rain. And, you know, like when you think about, you know, you see these um, shows, these documentaries of these people, maybe they're out in Africa and the rain and all the kids run out. Everybody's all excited because it, it's raining and um, that's really how we feel here too. Yeah. It yeah. rains. You just want to run out. Um, we weren't here, but I'll bet you, you guys were in the rain. We did. Yeah, yes, we you did. can't help it. It's so fun. I went out on the <laughs> the roof. Probably shouldn't have, but the, all the gutters, <laughs> lightning <laughs> splashing <laughs> all around. Here's what happens. Okay. The roof. Well, actually, it dawned on me a little while ago. But <laughs> yeah, because happened. of that, I looked <laughs> outside the window and I saw water pouring over our gutter. I went, oh no, the water's not getting stored in the the tank. And water like that, you cannot pass up on. Like, it's critical. Mm -hmm. So I got up on the tree. I got out there. I was soaked instantly, but I yeah. still did it anyway. <clears throat> and I'm clearing those gutters out. And all of a sudden, lightning starts to, like, mm -hmm. really strike. And I'm like, I wonder if I should be up here. And then, so I, like, kind of got it cleared out and then came back down. I was like, I think I saw my light light flash be right between my eyes. Yeah, between his eyes. <laughs> he had a good chuckle about that one. <laughs> about the same time that rainstorm's going on. I'm picking up the mail, and uh, I get out. Of course, it's raining like crazy, right? Yeah. So, And it wasn't just open the box, grab the mail, and get out. There were now packages <laughs> I had to get underneath. There was a lot of packages. Oh, my gosh. Okay. So we got, got all that. Shelly opens up the window, and I throw it in the window, and I get come back around, and I sit down. And I, and I sit there, and what did I say? I said, they didn't have any white chocolate. <laughs> That's for Christmas. Uh, and mom yeah. says, did you check with the butcher? <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't uh, think to check with the butcher about white chocolate. Have <laughs> you ever seen the, uh, is it the Scrooge? Uh, the Scrooge? No, no, no. Christmas with the Cranks. Christmas with the Cranks, cranks. Yeah. Yeah. The cranks. Yeah. that's it, yeah. yeah. There's that's this whole chocolate scene. I think so he, goes, he goes back out there in the rain to yeah. get the white chocolate. And when he comes back, you know those little awnings. awnings that come out, you know? There was a ton of water on there. And he, like, bumps the pole or something, or the pole falls, and all that water just pours right on top of him. <laughs> and just stood there. And then, meanwhile, there was a Santa selling um, umbrellas. They're like, are you sure you don't want an umbrella? Oh, I really think you need an umbrella. <laughs> <laughs> So movie, a little movie line there, so oh, yeah. sorry. sorry. That That's going. a classic over here. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, so Chris Porter says, so uh, so guys, what's the plan for the hoop barn? Been waiting for that project for ages. Us too. Yes. Us too. <laughs> <laughs> too. You said what we were thinking. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I think it's soon when we get this. Yeah, um, you know, uh, Gary's been working soon. in the background on that. You're yeah. not seeing that quite yet, but one of the first things we have to do is clear it out. And I think we mentioned this maybe last time too. So Gary has been working very hard, and we're not going over there because we like things. We don't like to have these little things that we think we, we like, might need for look projects away, look away disappearing. Stuff. Yeah. So Gary has been over there organizing two piles, um, one to go to the garbage or to the dump, and the other one to go to the metal recycle. Yeah. And that is that is mounding up very, very high and um, just clearing that stuff out. And we thought what we would do is is slide over, work on the, on the uh, bathtub, and we'll be working on those walls while he's just cleaning and cleaning and cleaning away out there. And then when we're ready to go over there, then things will be ready to be laid out and start bagging over there. Yep. So that's kind of how the timing is going to work. So that's coming. That's coming yeah. uh, this I, year. I might sure. want to yeah. even pour the cement 
floor before we actually do the bags because we have quite a bit of. I like it'll that. be a lot of work trying to get that cement in if the bag do- bags yeah. are already. Yeah, out. I like source. that. Let's do <clears> that. that. I like that. Yeah. Too. Yeah, I like that too. Yeah. So we'll it, we're very excited to have that project up. It's definitely on the list for this year. Mm-hmm. Uh, we're just trying to find. We're just trying to occupy the three of us so that <laughs> things can go that should go. And then yeah, <laughs> if you guys yeah. are out there, I mean, I'll be able to throw away certain. Well, things. Well, no, I mean, yeah, our redneck uh, cooler project would never <laughs> have been existent if yeah. I mean we pulled that out of the going by pile. That's right. So <laughs> I know Bryson has about 20 projects out there that he has to say goodbye to because. Well, he doesn't have to say, say goodbye, goodbye because you, we won't see him. Do I have yeah. 20 yeah. projects? Huh? Don't, don't mention it. I don't think I do. Don't even bring Half it up. Done. Don't, don't, no, don't, don't make it worse. Don't, don't, don't make no, this hard. Don't even, <laughs> okay. even just send it. Don't even tell close, me. Close as your long eyes. as the foundry is out there, I'm okay. What foundry? That's the thing. <laughs> I just need the foundry with the torch and a propane tank. Torch? I'm happy. Propane tank? Don't do that to him. <laughs> <laughs> That's so. the only thing. Oh, and my tools. Tools? Which I'm sure the tools are still there. You're not going to throw those away. So. No, you know, no tools. There's a lot Everything of else thing- could go. There's a lot of things on projects that aren't worth filming. And they're, you know, they're just kind of in the background type things that we, we try to do in between. And, and um, Let's watch Gary clean. Yeah. So, um, so. That's what's happening too, and we have a, a, another project that Bree and I have been working on actually for weeks, mm-hmm. and we're mm-hmm. just about ready to pull the trigger on that one too and post that. But there was a lot of work on that that it just wasn't worth videoing. So yeah, try to you know yeah. try to keep it as and efficient some projects and we, try not to bore you with it's things. It's a little and, and, monotonous. Some of these projects yeah. are because they're bigger, and you know it's not just a quick done. You know we're looking at weeks yeah. of work, and it's like oh this week. We slap mud up on the walls. <laughs> this week, we slap mud up on the walls for six weeks. <laughs> There's only so much entertainment there. <laughs> yeah. But when we get to the actual building and the walls and all that, then we'll definitely then be, be filming. We film a lot of the exciting, exciting stuff, stuff, the stuff that is fun to watch. Well, I think pouring the concrete will be fun. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I mm-hmm. think uh, putting up the walls will be fun. Mm-hmm. The roof will be fun. All the definitely. Uh, a little bit of the th- electrical and plumbing or something like that. Oh, maybe, yeah, definitely. But yeah, they'll be. They'll usually. Well, with some the of the same. projects, there is something to show weekly because you get something significant. Like you can see the it. fun stuff is all the fun we have doing it. See, yeah. that's the funny yeah. parts and the mistakes and the silly little comments and all the other fun stuff that we do. Yeah. That's what makes it fun. That so, makes it fun to build. Yeah, and then yeah. we get to take the you shop out. is going to be a fun one. Yes, but it's just going to take a while because I don't know if you've seen pictures of our hoop barn, but. <laughs> <laughs> if you know through. what's over there, you'll know what we're trying to tackle. <laughs> really one guy. Dad. One guy. Dad. One guy trying to tackle. It's we're not all doing it like, because it would stay it. that way if we all were there. So. Since we put it up, it's gone through two major catastrophes. One was when the tree branch from the big tree fell on it. Yeah. Right. We lost 15 feet. <laughs> we did watch gone. a third of it. Gone. A third of it go away. Yeah. And then, of course, the snowstorm that yeah. uh, crushed it. Multiple so. snowstorms. They yeah, took that, that sucker down. It, yeah, it went up. It funny. stayed. It did. A, it stung really good. Oh yeah. god! It, that was a, a really a kind of a funny, mom, funny but shocked moment. When we walked out there and saw that. We're like, "Is our hoop part supposed to look like that?" No. <laughs> surely, it, I mean, it was. It's had seen its better days, but surely it's not that low to the ground. <laughs> it held that snow for a couple days. It did. It did. <laughs> <laughs> but then it didn't. Yeah. yeah. And then it was like. Eh, it had a moment. No. Yeah. No. But we got it back up there ish. It's fine. Yeah. It so lives. We're looking we forward to We have PVC pipes it. holding it up now. Works. Yep. Works. You could tap dance on that roof. You probably, recommend you it, probably came mm-hmm. along and saw that part of it too. Was say, putting that, you may, may have saw yeah, that. You might have saw oh, yeah, it. It's have, all on yeah. video. So, yeah. Mm-hmm. We even have a shirt. We do. We do. I, what does it say on it? Hoop. hoop something with hoop. Hoop through it. Hmm. Good one. I don't know. Well, Some I know that the original that we, version of it was keep your hoops up, but then that didn't seem right <laughs> in other contexts. <laughs> so we had some other hoop joke that we did. Yeah, I don't know what it was. Keep hooping or something? I don't know. I don't know. Something with hoops and yeah. plan words that we cannot remember. So there'll be more know. hoops because oh no, we're not gonna we're not gonna do a hoop to roof. You, you got another plan. Hope for you that. like yeah. the loop de yeah. doops. I hope you like carrots. <laughs> <laughs> It's going to be. <laughs> it's going to be. <laughs> a, yeah, it's going to be a fun roof. Actually, it's one I've never done before. So again, I like projects that things that I haven't done before. So uh, we're and gonna it's be big. Building these trusses, uh, it's piece by piece. It's going to be probably one of the biggest buildings we've done yeah, this far. Well, I calculated the the span and the cost of tuba tens to put in there, and 
I figured that I mean, they're like 30 bucks a pop for every one of those. And on two foot centers, you know, that's not too bad. But I can build these for $9 a piece, and they're cooler. They're, they've got mm. some curve to them. And uh, I can build those for like 9 bucks a pop. And I'll, I'll probably go with 16 inch centers still at two feet. I'm still saving money. So it, uh, they're going to be less expensive, they'll be cooler. Um, we'll paint them before we put them up there, maybe, or something. I'm not sure what to do with that. Yeah, we can do that. Um, you can still put in insulation. You can still hang stuff from them. They'll be very strong. Good. I think okay. we should put some <clears throat> insulation in there. Batting. We're mm-hmm. definitely going to want to heat and cool that shop. Yeah. Like, if we're working on – like, if we had a nice, hot, like, cool environment that we could go in and work on cars and work on these projects, we'd be way more productive, mm-hmm. I think, personally, than we are now. Because, like, when you're out working in hot weather – that slows you down. That like wears you out if mm-hmm. you're really hot like that and you can't. It's just exhausting. It's, so it's going to be nice to have that r- room where we can control temperatures. Control the and weather. Yeah. Nice. I can build guitars and put the car in there and work on it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. With the guitar. <laughs> and build a guitar car. That would picturing be cool. it. Picturing it. I'm thinking. It'd be a convertible. <laughs> yeah. And do the whole thing. Sticking up, no, uh, you know okay. the whole guitar. I was thinking like you know it could work <laughs> as a game where you have those two loops, like you catch things in it as you, as a game. You uh, know you catch things in the hoops. Yeah. If, okay. Oh, <laughs> it was fine. It's fine. So is are we talking game or car? Because well, because I'm thinking a or guitar. real car, and yeah. then I was picturing oh. the accidents that could occur because of the loops. You know, I don't oh. know how they loop up. You know, oh. imagine trying to park that anywhere. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it would. I be. might not want to go in that shape. You know, it'd be really neat. You can use magnets to make things hover. Yeah. You create a steering wheel that hovers because it's attached to magnets underneath the dash. So it just hovers there. That'd be cool. That would be cool. Could you yank it out, though? Evidently? The like, fact that it's not. It's like, here, you take the wheel. <laughs> it's like, okay. I think the only problem with that be is people would hate that it's not a physical connection to your steering. Since that is like really important, be very futuristic. There well, might even be a law. You may not even be able to do that. Well, I mean, they have proximity sensors that you could put into the wheel itself. Oh, yeah, you could make that like reliable, easily. But, yeah, but so. it's like here, here we go. I don't here know how that would work. Let's get the old Wii, and we can just take a <laughs> Wii <laughs> and do that. We can uh, speed dude. everything on the Wii. Because right? that is so yeah. precise. The Wii remote, is that not the most yeah. precise instrument <laughs> yeah. you've ever seen in all your days? Wouldn't you trust your entire family with a Wii remote? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Well, I think that's going to wrap it up for us today. Thank you yeah. so much for being with us. And we will be back again next Monday for another podcast. But before that point, we got two more shows coming. we got one on Wednesday, and then we have our... Uh, full ver- we have our week to peak, peak on Friday, so oh, we got yeah. a lot of fun content. Strap in a lot of my little homestead coming at you this week, as per usual. So, thank you so much for being a part of our family, and we'll catch you on Wednesday. Wednesday, bye, bye. bye. bye.